and welcome to Basic Electronics episode 5. Today we are doing a door alarm using this 108 decibel siren. So, the parts you're going to need for this project are a 9 volt battery and snaps or clips or somewhere to hold it, or some other power source like a uh, like a 6 volt AA battery holder or something like that. Also, you're going to need some source of sound, like this siren, doesn't matter what you use, as long as it'll works. Uh, also a switch, and some alligator clips, you're going to need more than two. But, so, but that's going to be what you need for this project. So, the wiring is going to be really simple on this project, there's not too much to it. All you do is you, oh also, one thing I forgot to mention. So you're going to need about, I have about 15 feet of speaker wire here. This is going over to my door. I'll show you how that part's set up in a minute. But basically how it's working is that when there's a clothespin on it. You also need clothespin and tin foil. Uh, so basically what happens is when, I'll explain it more later, but when the door is open, electricity can flow between these two wires. So, now that you understand how it works, basically what, how you start is you attach an 9 volt battery to a snap. Then you use a wire for, a black wire preferably, because then you can use it to figure out what's going on, as a common ground. red wire from the positive of the battery to one of the legs on the switch. Also, you're going to need another clip. You clip that to one of the other poles on the switch. One second. And then, also, you're going to, okay, then you clip that to one of the wires that goes to your door. Then, Take the other wire, it's a speaker wire, there's two strands. Uh, then you connect that to the positive on the side. So what happens is the ground just goes right to the ground. So and then positive voltage goes through the switch. So when the switch is in a closed position so electricity can get through it, that goes through the speaker wire to the door where there's a uh, closed pin with tin foil and when it's Closed, it'll, when it's closed, it'll allow the current to flow through it, and make that like a switch. So then, when the electricity can flow through that, it goes back into the positive of the siren. So it's a pretty simple setup. So, uh, I'm just going to give it a quick test. I'm not, I'm bypassing the speaker wire. It should work. Okay, that was really loud. Now we know it's going to work. So, basically I've got this whole setup now. Done. Now, what you do for the switch, it's kind of doing it right together at the same time, but this attach the thing to the high pin. And then there's pieces of tin foil on the high pin. And they're separable things, so I have a clip of these two pieces of tin foil. And then that goes in between the two pieces of tin foil and separate. So when the door is open, circuit works. I'll give you a quick demo. So, one second and shut this down. So, make sure that everything's connected. Then you put the clip of paper in between the clothes pins. I'll show you how it works now. Like that. And then, make sure that the switch is flipped. It should not sound if the paper Should sit on. And it did. I ran over to turn it off because it was like so loud. 
guess we will before we change that. So, that's this week's project. A little bit shorter video than normal. But, uh, that's basically how the door alarm works. It's a pretty cool project. Works great. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next week.